amazing. The, the robbers, the crooks say that St. Jude helps them to be better criminals. Incredible. Here's a, a man named Dr. Peter Kreeft I'd like to introduce you to. He's well thought of in Catholic circles. He's a professor, high-level professor at Boston University. That's, by the way, where Senator John Kerry uh, graduated from with his law degree. This is a Catholic Jesuit, the Order of the Jesuits, a secret order of the Catholic Church. That's what Boston University is. And Dr. Peter Kreeft, Dr. Peter Kreeft is one of the professors of religion there. Now, Dr. Kreeft said some things recently in a book called Ecumenical Jihad. Ecumenical Jihad. I want you to know about. Let me give you some quotes. First of all, he says that Martin Luther, the founder of the Protestant movement, is a heretic. So we see right away what Peter Kreef believes in. Second, he says, and listen to this, Confucius, Buddha, Muhammad are all in heaven. Muhammad is today on his knees in heaven worshiping Mary. Now, can you just picture that sight in your mind? Muhammad on his knees worshiping Mary in heaven? Confucius, Buddha, Muhammad, they're all in heaven. Of course, Martin Luther, I guess he's in hell. He's a heretic. But, but all of these, these false gods and prophets are in heaven, according to Peter Croft. And there they're worshiping Mary, like every good Catholic. Listen to the, what he says about Allah. Allah, writes Peter Croft, is not another God. We worship the same God. Why is Islam expanding so spectacularly, he asked? Because God blesses those who obey his laws. Friends, did you know that Jack Van Impey also said the same thing basically in a recent re uh, TV program that he suggested that Islam, the, the Quran, is the word of God. And finally, listen to what he says here. This is Dr. Peter Croft, one of their top theologians in the Catholic Church. It shows you what Catholics believe. He says, quote, Catholicism agrees with paganism more than with Protestantism. Friends, if you're a Catholic, you're closer to paganism and witchcraft than you are with Protestantism, evidently. Then he says, Catholicism is more like African religion. Catholics believe pagans are right and Protestants are wrong. Well, let's take a look. I have some pictures here of African tribalism. You tell me whether you think that you prefer this African tribalism and this voodoo over Protestantism. And by the way, when we get to this last picture, it's a picture of two chickens with their heads cut off. Of course, in different religions, Santeria, voodoo, uh, even the Rastafarian religions in some segments of it, and certainly in African tribal religion, they believe in animal uh, sacrifice, and they will take the blood and do horrible things with it. Here's a little white girl, by the way. Boy, they're teaching them to do voodoo now. And then finally, here's this grotesque image of art with a voodoo doll. Now, if you don't believe that the Catholic Church is moving right into the field of the Eastern religions, in other words, as all the Protestants are being folded into Catholicism, the Catholic Pope has taken all of these people, Billy Graham, Kenneth Copeland, Oral Roberts, uh, Jack Van Impey, Chuck Colson. He's taken them by the hand, and where is he leading them? He's leading them into the deviltry of the Eastern religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, and all the others, African tribal worship, witchcraft, voodoo. All of these things are being melded in, molded in to the Catholic Church and accepted. So when you accept the Pope of Rome and his uh, new catechism, you're accepting African tribal worship, the witch doctors, Native American Indian worship of the so-called great spirit. You're accepting these horrible, hideous apostate teachings as well. Don't think for a moment you're not.
For example, did you know that this pope has given credit to Mary himself for saving his life? Remember he was shot some years ago? He, he reached over to look at a picture of Mary that a kid was carrying. And at that moment, the bullet struck his body. And he said it missed his heart only by an inch or so because of Mary. He goes each year, Pope John Paul II, to Fatima, Portugal. And there he worships the images of Mary. Here, first of all, we see the Mary of the Roses. And look on Mary's head, this idol. She has a crown. She is queen of heaven. Now here from USA Today, August 12th, 2004. Look at this article. It says, Pope to Grace City of Miracles. Lourdes, France. They claim that Mother Mary once appeared there to children and that people who go there can see great miracles of healing in their bodies. And people go from all over the world to Lourdes, France to pray. Here we have Pope John Paul II. Look at this picture. This is the city of miracles, Lourdes, France. And it says in this caption here, in this picture, the Pope has gone deep into a cave, deep in the bowels of the earth, into a cave to worship the statue of Mary with all of those candles. Isn't that odd to the darkness of a cave? Deep in the bowels of the earth to worship Mary? And he also goes each year to Fatima. Interestingly, there are some Catholics who worship Mary that say, you know, it's good for the Pope to come to Fatima, Portugal to worship Mary every year in a special invocation. But now, they say, the Vatican and the cardinals and the bishops are approving for Hindus to come and have their worship service. They say this is desecration. In other words, it's okay to worship Mary, but the Hindus should not be joined with the Catholics in doing so. This is actually Catholic Family News newspaper. Here's the article I want you to see. It says, Report of Hindu Desecration at Fatima. There where they have the statue of Mary and the, the, the cathedral to, that they built to Mary. They're saying that Hindus have been invited by the Holy Father, uh, the assistance of the Holy Father. By the way, the Holy Father, they call him himself, uh, although the Bible says Jesus has called no man father. They don't care what the Bible says. They have their traditions. The Pope went over to uh, India and received the great mark of the god Shiva in his forehead from a Hindu priestess. Yes, that is true. And now we have the, the, the papal uh, officials inviting these Hindu gurus and others to come to to Fatima, Portugal, to, to do all of their rituals at the very cathedral that's been built to honor Mary. Look at some of these pictures. Here, we have a picture, and the caption says, a close-up of the Hindu priest as he desecrates the most holy altar at Fatima. These words, by the way, this caption actually comes from Father Nicholas Gruner and his organization. They are opposed to the Hindus. They're okay for worshiping Mary, but opposed to the Hindu worship. Notice the little mark on this man's forehead in the so-called third eye region and the statue of Mary with her crown behind him. In this next picture, we have the Hindu guru or priest and some of his so-called Hindu pilgrims at the sacred el el uh, altar there in the Catholic Church at Fatima. Can you imagine the Catholics allowing the Hindus to worship all of their Hindu gods and goddesses? Now, in this picture, we have the Hindu guru or priest investing the rector. That means the head, the head priest of the Fatima shrine, Monsignor Luciano G. 